Every week, we make the familiar trek to our curbsides with trash receptacles and seven days' worth of garbage in tow. By the time we awake, trash management professionals have whisked away every last trace of the most recent refrigerator purge. Or have they? Americans generate over 267 tons of trash on an annual basis. Most homeowners bring those trash bins back into the garage, not realizing there's over 400 known bacteria and viruses found in and around dumpsters. They can be getting a common cold just by handling a dirty trash bin. Think about it, every time that trash bin gets emptied, it's making contact with that city trash truck, and there's germs just being transferred at that point, getting on your kids' hands, and then their hands are in their mouth. Or if you're doing it yourself, you're getting directly into your car and it's on your steering wheel. People don't want to actually clean their trash can. To do it yourself, you're going out there, 25 gallons of water, a whole thing of bleach, spraying it out, taking some sort of brush or broom. Then you're gonna dump it into your yard, which is going into our waterways that people are fishing in. It's one of those chores that you kind of need to do, especially when you're in warmer climate areas, but it's not fun. When you have water that's chemical infused, that water's going into your storm drain. When homeowners do choose to clean their bins on their own, they use some sort of harsh chemical or detergent, it just doesn't work and it's not environmentally friendly. Dumpsters are big because of the fact that most of those are sitting right outside of the receiving area of most restaurants, hotels. The amount of flies and germs that are in those dumpsters eventually get into the back, the receiving area. So when you're walking into a restaurant and you see flies, you know that there's a dirty dumpster in the back of that restaurant. The concept of cleaning trash and recycle bins originated over 25 years ago in the UK. It's relatively new here in the US, been around for about eight years. 75% of the homeowners in the UK have their trash bins cleaned and outsourced by a professional trained company. They've been doing it for 25, 30 years. It's as common as getting a haircut. Here, it's not as common. People don't really know about it. So if the US can only match what's being done in the UK, that would not only have a huge impact on the US, but a huge impact globally, reduce the carbon footprint and and stopping the spread of diseases. Get into my own business, be my own boss. That was always a childhood dream of mine. Much like a lot of individuals who approach me that want to do something different, that's how I got started in the business. So I worked for Corporate America for 25 years. And one afternoon, as I did my research, there was no one cleaning trash bins in the USA professionally. Every site brought me to the UK. And that was the start of Sparkling Bins. I built my first truck, and that's where we got started. We're cleaning roughly 10,000 residential and commercial dumpsters in the South Florida region. And we have become the world's largest manufacturer. We have sold 160 of these businesses to 46 different states, creating hundreds of jobs. I've always wanted to run my own business, but I didn't want to just run a business just to have my own business. I wanted something unique. And this just popped right up. For me, it was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good opportunity. It wasn't just the equipment that John really put together for you, it was the support system. He had videos on how to operate equipment, videos on how to fix things. If something breaks, he has a full support team there for you. Once we take delivery of the truck, it's not the end of the relationship. We talk many times a week, not only about the design of the trucks, but what works in marketing. What's the best way to get our message out there? He's helping you put together that logo, that design, what colors are really gonna match and help you grow that way. John became invested in your business and really helping your business stay healthy and to grow. They look beautiful. The colors, as you can see on the truck here, it's phenomenal. But to be able to look at things like the coloring I want to use and the names, I want to be able to do that myself, not have somebody else tell me that. I just spent 25 years working for somebody else. It's not for anybody but myself and my family. And that's what I enjoy about having my own business like this. It gives me goosebumps talking about it. They'll send you a design of your wrap and how it kind of looks on the truck. But the moment that truck comes, you are really bringing it to life. It's exciting for me because I love to see and help new entrepreneurs get into this business. The sparkling bin systems that we manufacture, they're all chemical free. We're using hot water at a temperature of 190 degrees and that will sanitize and kill all the bacteria. It's helping create a healthier environment in an eco-friendly way. When someone comes in for training and they see those spinning heads and to see their logo and their company name on that truck for the first time, there's nothing like owning your own business. Pioneering the market is obviously something that lots of people dream about, so that is a great plus. You're building relationships with different people, different businesses, but the complete aspect of it is we are helping the environment. It's that freedom of being able to get up every day, you're self-motivated, you make your own decisions, people come up to us and they really are excited that we're there and they get excited and thank us for coming to do this service. It's been a ton of fun to watch. To find a bin and dumpster service near you, visit usabinanddumpstercleaning.com.
or sparklingbinbusiness.com to start your own bin and dumpster cleaning business.